All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another video tour. If you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time, I'm Chuck It's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. So today I'm up here in the west side of the Las Vegas Valley in a mass plan community called Summerlin. So this home that we're going to be exploring today is a resale home that was built in 2003. Now, this is actually a Toll Brothers product here, and this property is located in a guard-gated community. You're less than about 20 minutes from McCarran International or Harry Reid International, and your shopping should be less than 10 minutes away from downtown Summerlin. So this home that we are going to be exploring today, the asking price is $1,649,000. It was built in 2003. Property features 4,308 square feet. Total four bedrooms, den, and also a loft with a three-car garage. So this is a detached garage here. Typically on these, you'll have a vintage car that's parked here, or you you will go ahead and uh, put some storage. Let's take a look here. Property is located on a corner lot. You have some nice driveway, the stamp concrete. Here's your two car garage. It's beautiful stone. Love this little security gate here. As we come in, you can see the beautiful palm trees. Does not feel like Vegas whatsoever. Off to the left, we have the door that takes you into the garage. This right here is just kind of like a, your little courtyard with the French doors to the a room here. And this room right here, let me show you. You can literally probably, probably change this on out to a casita. And I'm going to show you how that's done here. What do we have here? This is probably just extra storage. Water heater probably. Okay, this is just storage. Love the stone here. Now, this right here takes you off to the suite, also laundry room, and access to the kitchen, which is nice. I love how many access points you have for this home. All right. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to Julia McDonald from Realty One. This is her listing, so I do appreciate that. Now, take a look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Oops, let me shut the door here. Give me a second. Ah, having trouble. There we go. So we have 18 by 18 porcelain tile, then you have some granite on the steps, and you have this beautiful staircase. Now as we come down, three steps, granite, walk right into the formal dining room. Very high ceilings. Property has surround sounds. There you go. Put a beautiful picture right there, plantation shutters. Again, right there is the Stairs, and you have the granite there. Show the entryway again. That okay. So, we're going to start off here to the right hand side. So, the right hand side, as we come in off to the right here, we have our half bath. These are all aftermarket parts since 2003. So this is not the original owner, I believe. You have a six panel door, eight foot on the doors, nine foot ceilings here. What we have here is a coat closet right underneath the staircase. Orange peel texture. You have bull nose on the cornering. So this is where you're gonna spend most of your time. This is your family room here. Combo with the kitchen. 
So looks like the fireplace with the stone and all the built-ins, this was all a aftermarket. This is a gas fireplace. You have granite throughout here. And it looks like you got some stainless steel in the back. Pretty unique, okay. The flooring here, now you have 18 by 18 porcelain tile. And it does section it off so that way you can, you know, put your couch and all that stuff. So looks like we have a little desk for your office here, which is kind of cool. This kind of be like your little workstation, your cooking station. The mantles are an upgrade right there during the time of the build. You do have some crown. You have some can lighting. Now, on this one right here, take a look at this. We have some granite. Now on this granite here, we have three inches on the granite. However, these are stacked granites, but it's not stacked all the way through. Normally they'll cut a 45, we talked about that, and roll it over. But uh, this is a three inch face, which is really nice. I mean, not bad. And you got your staple cabinets, MDS with the side glides. However, what's very unique is this one right here is the dovetails with the undermounted glides here. Okay. Let's take a look at this sink. Triple basin sink right here, stainless steel. Garbage disposal. Now these are the uh, Victorian uh, cabinets, okay? They're actually 36 inch cabinets, they're not the 42s. Beautiful crown. You got your nice 36 inch fire burner cook countertop. During this time period, they were actually ahead of the curb with the uh, cook countertop. Let's see if this thing exhausts out. You do have an exhaust that take, takes out all the smoke, which is great. You have the granite backsplash. You got one, two, three, four slabs, which is really nice. You got your microwave there. Let's take a look at some of this cabinets right here, Lazy Susan. Okay. You got the plantation shutters. Come back around this way. What I love about this is that you have stairs that take you up to the second floor here, which is really nice. I love that. Here's your pantry. Very organized on the pantry. You got your double stacked right here. Then you got your sub zero built in. You got your original thermostat right here. It looks like Sunrise is the contractor. So now this is the door that I was talking about when we came into the property. Here is your laundry to the two car garage as well. And here's your first suite on the first floor. Now we do have nine foot ceilings on the first floor. You have six inch on the baseboards and these are custom baseboards. And it looks like what they did here was did the full wood blinds and the built in here to make this an office. But you could always rip this out to make this a bedroom. You do have some nice wood flooring here. These are actually engineering flooring, tongue and groove. Water resistant, I don't know. Now, let's take a look at the bathroom. So the bathroom, we got the 18 by 18 porcelain tile with the bull nose. We do have some granite here. Actually, this is not granite. This is actually a composite uh, recycle. And I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second here. Looks like the shower head is missing. Cast iron tub. Now the vanity here is only um, 30 inches on the vanity. Now this is actually a man-made product right here. And uh, they do have some recycles as you can see in the grain of the composite. Now let's go back this way. Laundry room. Uh, let's just go right into the 
So it looks like we do have the two car garage here. Oop, and I dropped the paper. You got your soft water. Looks like that soft water is disconnected. I'm gonna go back into the property. You do have a crawl space right here to the uh, subfloor, which is really nice. Something comes up, you can definitely work on it. This right here is your smart panel box. All right, now let's come back out this way. Let's go to the backyard because we're already here, right? So the backyard in this one is a little bit unique. It's actually the side yard, but I think the way it's designed, it's pretty efficient. So now look how large this backyard is. You're definitely going to need a landscaper here for sure. It's going to be a lot of maintenance. You got a fire pit right there, basketball court, which is really nice. see what we got here here's your barbecue so this was a aftermarket part right here with the uh, barbecue believe it or not these things can run up to about five thousand dollars or even more they did the uh, granite looks like they got rid of the refrigerator and all that stuff okay you got the dual pane windows beautiful stone Oh, this is actually a good basketball room right here. And I love the fact that you have a side door for the garage here. Wow, look at this. They made a little bench right here with the stone. So here's your side yard here. With Okay. Air conditioning units, they look like the original air conditioning units. Got your pull pump back there. It's beautiful. I'm sure um, when you do the home inspection, I'm sure some things will come up. I mean, that happens all the time. Let's take a look here what we got over here on the side. I definitely would get rid of the grass and do synthetic grass. Now the lot size is 16,117 square feet. So here is the um, door that takes you into the game room or the office. But that's where I said that we can actually change that into a casino. I'm going to show you how. So it looks like the retaining wall is split in this way, which is not a big deal. Got your dish here, so that tells me that south is this way. Okay. Got your lights. Cover patio. Now Right here, the reason why you see that ceiling fan is actually sagging like that, that's actually not an outdoor fan. So make sure when you buy a fan for your outdoor, it's actually an outdoor fan. Man, look at that pool. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, let's go back in this way. I'm going to take you guys up to the second floor here. Now the carpet has a little bit wear and tear on it. You got the original rocker switches and the outlets. So as we come upstairs, you got a couple landings. You got a 180. Now here's your loft area. And on this loft area, it looks like you do have coax, cat six as well. It's gonna be a little bit dark here because there's really no lights. Also, you're going to put your TV right here. Now, you do have another 
sweet as you come up. And this is a pretty decent sized room. This is probably 12 by 10 with some built-ins. The doors need to be rehung, obviously. Now it looks like on this spec, what they did was put the phone cable here and also the coax right here. So that means your TV is going to probably be designated right here. Let's take a look at the bathroom. 30 inches on the vanity. The same exact bathroom. Matches the one downstairs. Again, you get the blinds. Six panel door. Now let's come back this way here. Coming into our third suite. You got your cable right there in that wall. You got your phone jack here. You do got crown, nine foot ceilings. The doors here are all six, eight on the doors. You got the faux blinds. Coming into the bathroom. 12 by 12 on the porcelain tile. You have granite here. And you have more of a longer vanity. Cast iron tub. Again, you got the porcelain tile. Now, the style of this home may be a little bit outdated, so you definitely will have to change it based upon your liking. So, here's a French door here. And what I like about this, here's the main entry right here, right? And here's your formal dining. Now I believe on this option, you could have put a fireplace here too as well and bring that mantle all the way up. The good news is that could be done because you do have that fireplace on the other side. Now, coming into the master on the second floor, very large master, okay? Master does come with a full built-in and you have a section right here to put your refrigerator if you choose to. You do have some LED lights above. You got a tray ceiling, one foot tray ceiling. Very large room. I'm gonna have the uh, description of this property in the link below. Or the details of this property in the video description in the link below. So you got a balcony here. Well, that's a nice pool. So, looks like you definitely have stagnant water right here. So it looks like this needs to be all cleaned out so that way your water will rush out through the drain. You do have some stucco eaves, which is great. There are one foot eaves, or maybe two feet actually, I'm sorry, which is really nice. Let's come back into the property here. You do have some carpet. Got that brown. So what's great about this bathroom is, take a look at this. You have uh, his, right? And you got uh, hers. Now, if you guys are planning on building custom closets, get with Pat over at Las Vegas closets. So you got some granite here. Beautiful vessel sink. Banning is 36 inches. This is very unique. Okay. Also, what I like about this is take, take a look at this. You got water closet here, water closet here. So you have his and hers. Coming back here, 
you have a shower, but you have two shower heads, which is great. So one person's taking a shower here, and another one's taking it here. Uh, this section, I would say, it is a little bit too small. I feel that the bathroom should be pushed out a little bit bigger. But remember, during the time of, of the build, 2000, this wasn't the style back then. Right, there's another water closet. I love the fact that there's two. That's cool. Now let's go downstairs. Matter of fact, we're gonna go down this way. There we go. Now off to the left, we have like a den, a game room. Okay, as we come in, your bar is right here. Oops. You got the refrigerator, you got your sink, right? Love this. This is kind of cool. What do we have here? So again, we have storage, we're not gonna go in there. But look how large this room is. Now there's really no light in here, so it's it's hard to show you what's going on. But this is your, your built-in, so this is your, your entertainment room. Now also this one has a retreat, right? Take a look at this retreat. Gorgeous. And this is 10 by 12, so it's pretty large on this retreat. Then you have this French doors here, okay? Now, this is my thought process on uh, this, okay? Check this out. I would cut this part off. Option, a door here, right? You already have the plumbing here, right? You could do a kitchenette, right? Do a full kitchenette here. On this side, because you already have the plumbing, guess what? We'll turn this into a bathroom, all right? Bathroom, walk-in closet, because you already got the plumbing there, okay? Here is gonna be your living area. That door, right? You can have access to the outside, a private door, or I would wall that off, because remember, now you're doing a kitchenette, you're taking this section off, you're doing your bathroom, your closet, that gets walled off, right? Here, you can do your door, that takes you out. This is large enough to do full combo, living area, living room, right, bedroom. Also, you have your access to the back. I mean, that's gonna cost you some money, but let me know what your thoughts are about that idea, if that's something that you would do. Now, guys, if you guys are interested in this property, okay, the earnest money deposit on something like this will run you $25,000. Also, HOAs are $359 a month, but then you also have $48 a month on the master plan. Now this community has parks and all that stuff for the kids. And these are some pretty large lots. I mean, take a look at that, right? It's beautiful. Well guys, let me know what your thoughts are about this property, if you guys can see yourselves living in here. Let me know if you guys would actually make the changes that I suggested. Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuggets Crusoe with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.